course, it's a very big deal. It's the biggest event we have in uh, in professional squash. So it's uh, it's definitely a big tournament that's always on my mind and on the calendar, kind of well in advance and preparation and everything has to be um, great. I mean, everything is kind of <laughs> leading up to the uh, to, to the World Championship. So it's it's a big opportunity. Um, I mean the a great opportunity to do well and the the ranking points and and the the prize money is fantastic and it's just um and this is sort of the the real moment to really uh show um kind of everything that that you have and everything that you've been working on so uh so I'm really looking forward to it yeah well it's it's fantastic i I've experienced a little bit also kind of in New York City whenever I'm playing in the Tournament of Champions. And that's that's great too, um, uh, especially that being in New York. And I have lots of friends in the city who would come out and, and the crowd, um, you know, cheering. But it's it's a great feeling to kind of be in your home country and be have the support of the crowd behind you. Um, and uh, sometimes I, it can make me a little bit nervous or whatever but uh, ultimately it's it, it it's good it really kind of helps um helps me push in the moments where it gets really tough uh on court and and it's also great having um you know my family and stuff will be able to come and and watch which doesn't happen when i'm abroad so uh so it's, it's all the better to to have it be in the states i was uh it was a very kind of strange sequence of events. I had just played in a tournament in Pakistan, actually, and I I did well. It was a 20K event and, or was it a 30K event? Jeez, I can't even remember. But either way, I made it to the final, and um, and which was a great result for me at the time. And I remember midnight on that night, after playing the match, I basically went back to the hotel, packed my bags and had to get a flight to Seattle, which was a really long journey uh, from, from Islamabad. And uh, just kind of getting over the, the jet lag or whatever, and then bam, I was on court again. Um, and I think just the momentum of, the, of Pakistan and I think maybe the hectic schedule in a strange way helped me relax, I guess, or not take take it too seriously or, or too much pressure. I think sometimes when, when the buildup is too long or extended, uh, uh, sometimes that can be unhealthy psychologically, but it was really just, I was playing lots of squash, had a great tournament, and then bam, I was on court in Seattle straight away. And I remember my first match actually there was, was very shaky. I was um, on a little bit of, flights or jet lag, whatever, but I managed to just kind of claw my way through it. <clears throat> and then the second match, um, I played really, really well. Um, uh, yeah. And so, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I just kind of wasn't, wasn't thinking. I felt very free. I was coming off the back of a great result and, and stuff. So I was, I was full of confidence at the moment and wasn't expecting to have a great result or whatever, but it just, everything just came together. And, and that, <laughs> that's how I remember it. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely, I definitely hope to take that form into the world championships. I'm coming off a really good training period. This time in Egypt has been great for me. I've, it's been just such a rich period of training and learning and being, I mean, I'm, I've been working with uh, Haisam, um, who's the, uh, a coach here who's been fantastic for me, but also just being around the top guys uh, on a consistent basis, kind of watching them, learning from them uh, has just been so valuable for me. Um, and even those two results that you mentioned, where I did well, I, I, I learned a lot from those, from those, uh, from those results as well. El Guna went well, I played really well in my second match. I kind of, you know, at this level, you just can't, <laughs> you sort of can't relax for one second. Like you have one big win and it's like, yeah, but now that's done and you have to 
be ready for the next match um, straight away. And if you're, you know, a little bit passive, uh, you know, the guys are going to be there to just eat you up. So, um, yeah, I mean, I do definitely feel like I'm playing my best squash of my career right now. And I'm really hoping to take that form with me into Chicago. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I think it will be huge. Um, the center is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's, uh, it, it's an incredible resource. It's going to be great to have us all. I mean, yeah, we've got a, a bunch of strong players now. Um, so it'll be great for us to be able to kind of convene there and practice together on a more consistent basis. And, and it's also just, it's exciting. And to have that there and just kind of the the energy, the enthusiasm, and the excitement, the excitement that it brings is, is good, is good for all of us too. So, um, I mean, I've been training in, in Egypt recently, but, um, it's, I think the, the center is going to be a big asset for us squash and, um, it's going to help us who are playing now. It's also gonna, you know, help more Americans decide to go pro and, and, and everything. So I think, uh, I think Philadelphia being kind of becoming the hub of, of US squash and having that national center there will be huge for us.